We were able to capture the tugboat without killing any caravaneers. With its help, Duke and I infiltrated the bridge town. If everything goes as planned, we'll soon leave this place. Our next target? The bridge mechanism control booth. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. This is episode 10, and as he said there, we are now on the bridge town, which we need to lower so that we can finally get out of the Volga. And hey, yeah, they're talking about me and how I didn't kill anybody, even though I did kill some people. Alright, so we gotta be stealthy here. Our stealthy went good last time. So hopefully I can keep that up here. Um, okay, so we're at the back. We need to make our way back towards the front of the bridge. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard to sneak across here. I'm glad that we don't have to worry about broken glass anymore. Okay, we can probably slip through here. I like how one of the biggest advancements in this game is that you can now slip through small gaps. Like, sure, it may be kind of open world now, but you can also fit through small gaps, see, which means you can actually sneak around easier. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. He can just come back and start. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic. One of the new ones freed them. Now, the just got cold feet. That's all the stories people tell not to go. So, I actually looked it up. That... You don't actually lose moral points for killing bandits, so I don't have to worry about that. But I have to make sure not to kill anyone, you know, unarmed or surrendering. Which I haven't been doing, so that shouldn't be a problem. But it means I shouldn't have to worry about whether I should shoot the people trying to kill me. Yes, not everyone is created the same. God save Simon's soul. So yeah, that was the guy we rescued from bandits. Don't you worry so much. Well, I just can't... The four eyes didn't come back. God save his soul. And they didn't even go out to fight a demon. Well... Hmm. Where's this lead? As if people return from demon killing trips alone. Well, how about I come with you? We'll do it together for sure. Don't even think about it. I wonder if people aren't coming back from the house of the fish because of the human animals moving in. Alright. Alright. Your kids. You know, I've been thinking. What do those heretics want here? If I don't walk all the way up these stairs, he just slides back down. And what's so nice over there on the other side? Hey, oh, bro. shit. Hmm, this is gonna be a problem. Which is where? Where? where we gotta take this guy out before he turns around. What? For the <laughs> Hmm. The music picked up there for a second. Okay, so that was the guy that was talking up here. I like that they don't actually have flashlights, they just have a little candle attached to their helmet. I think 
See, I'm hoping this doesn't alert everybody just because he heard a noise. Shield us from the touch of evil and the breath of evil. What could that be? And from its temptation. Well, and great. save our Garbage souls the way you saved our lives to serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again. Just as you have But I think it's just this guy who is affected. And punish us should we prove unworthy. And I could even get my can back. Alright, I'm not sure there was a reason to take out that guy, though, because I was already back here. So, it seems like going underneath didn't really help me. Okay, there's a gate here. Um, now the lock's on the other side. So, I can't sneak through here. I can't open that door. So, maybe going underneath is the only way to actually get through here? I guess I could have also just gone up here. Again, it's still early in the morning, but it's fairly bright out already. Well, so far, I wish you could close some of these doors. And now the snake has fled with the heretics to do foul magic with her spawn, no doubt. Feel like we should just kill this guy, but I won't. <laughs> it's not his fault that he's an ignorant cultist. Well, not entirely his fault. Okay, we're almost there. Now we're more than halfway across the bridge. Okay, these guys aren't looking back behind them. Just a windy morning. They don't really seem that concerned, so I don't need to worry about taking them out. Just gotta wait for this guy to start walking back. Oh, also, in between episodes, I actually looked up a little config change. So I turned off motion blur completely, which helps me more than you, I think, because... Uh, shit. But yeah, it makes it easier for me to do, like, screenshots. Stop looking around. So, do you see anything there? Nothing there, thank God. It's not like I really wanted for you to find anything. And the other thing I changed is that I upped the FOV a little bit. Though, the problem is the FOV in the config is just vertical FOV, so I can't turn it up very much. I basically only went up by 5, but you can see more of the gun now. You can actually see the wrist pretty easily without looking down. Okay, how do I get forward? I need to find, like, a ladder. I mean, this is like an elevator of some kind. This game actually has a surprising lack of options, considering it's supposed to be PC optimized to some degree. Okay, 
in whose shadow. But our cloisters survive. For the faithful reside here. And the Lord in his mercy mm. and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantia. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe. Provided you are true in your devotion. <laughs> provided you respect satanic technology. We are kind of hard to sneak through here. Do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric curse. They curse it gives the enemy cave to the fools. So that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful mm. than him. We reject! Amen, my children! <laughs> for the electric I don't think I can sneak around here. Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject them. Where is the lock on this thing? Out into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by it. I wasn't sure how loud that was going to be, so I didn't want to do it. By the sound of Glory to the beast. One of them just sounds like Anna. <laughs> How far back is Salantius if they can all hear him? Especially considering it's not like he has <laughs> a megaphone. So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no less harmless. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates. I hear somebody else yelling underneath him. Nope. There is a man right next to this man. I think he punched me, but he didn't set off the alarm. It sounds like someone else is pleading. Now one guy just sounds like a zombie. We reject. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, I don't know why this one is just crossed out. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through. What were you just saying about me not getting past the starfish? Quicker to look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully. Our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Are you really gonna give me shit for killing the people who have been killing your people? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! 
You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You are not to here. We reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. I mean, isn't he just going to release the lever? Can we really trust him? Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> well, he surprised me. I thought he was going to try to screw us at the last moment there. Alright, that's the end of Volga. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons, and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Alright, so I guess that was the kind of favorable result there because I didn't kill very many cultists. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Well, at least it's a little cozier in the train now. Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Pretty sure it's not a bridge. Um, wake up. We're on a train, not a ship. Wake up, I want to steal your spot. Can't really both fit on this bed. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore. So we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry. I'm in a philosophical mood today. That's also kind of how they justify giving you negative moral points for killing people in the metro. The basis that there are very Stay few people left in the metro. Time. Didn't you just tell me to go to the bridge? Oh, and there's our postcard on the wall. The one I picked up. I guess this I missed all great. of them. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Seeing Especially it all. in our own private compartment. How romantic. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. Remember that part of our honeymoon, honeymoon where you fell into a so gas-filled tunnel? That was great. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years, and they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They're just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are essentially slaves, for real. Slaves to survival. All day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Celantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. 
Kind of like how the Watchers control the Metro. With these ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance. Exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? I think it's been more than just a few years. Believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? Since the nuclear war was in 2013, or at least familiar, in this universe. Take us in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna. <coughs> <laughs> Wait, what shirt? I don't remember that part. Christ never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But the father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot. No matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? It's almost like he grew up in a world of Russian I hope propaganda. We'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is before the bombs. Once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. You know, I actually kind of just thought Anna was generally right, annoying run along. Dad wanted something. in Last Light. Because, I mean, she was just kind of the bitchy, capable sniper character that, you know, kind of comes up a lot in media. Not specifically a sniper, but, you know, the kind of bitchy, I'm too good for all of you kind of character. Who really is, like, emotionally fragile underneath. But I feel like she's a bit better of characterized in this than she was then. I feel like this is new. Is this our diary? Yeah, these are Artyom's journal entries he's been writing as we go. And... I guess these are all... You know, some of the entries that play on loading screens as we make progress. Though I didn't hear all of them. Yeah, and this is the one we just saw. Oh geez, we can get into everybody else. Well, probably won't go read all of this right now, but it's interesting. Also, we never really did anything with the sarfish. It just kind of was an obstacle to avoid. Generally, a giant mutant catfish terrorizing the fisherman world... ...wold? ...seemed to be a dubious object of worship at best, but Salantia still managed to indoctrinate the locals he brainwashed into believing the monster was sent to the Earth with a divine mission. Female shrimp. Male shrimp. Dog. Lurker. We didn't really see any dogs out there. I guess those are just the dogs kept by humans. So I like that there's all this lore stuff in here. Because the previous games didn't have really any of that for, you know, all this other stuff. Over. 
Canel, Canel, come in. Canel, over. That's just great. But we'll all try later. Still a radio station playing somewhere. Attention, attention. Oh, no. This is the special restoration committee speaking from the Ark Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Area 18-5. I repeat. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is... This sounds like it's just a looping eight, automated message. 1-7-9. Area 1-8-5. Only by standing together shall we overcome any and all obstacles. Why are you guys kissing Munchakov's ass so much? How long has it been since even a ride in Irkutsk? Not even two years! You better reconsider your position on Meshtikov. Did you forget who started trading with the convicts from Zolotoy? Huh? Well, that was Zakhar's idea. And Zakhar is the man. He crossed by Kal. Alone. He would sign up to anything he proposes at once. While Menshikov, I couldn't care less about. I mean, there's a lot of people broadcasting out here. You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. Go to hell, Dan. <laughs> All right. I can live with listening to Menshikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that your boot is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menshikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. But I guess it makes sense. I mean, there's people out there everywhere in Russia. And I guess these are still automated radio stations playing? I mean, in the novel, when Artyom tries to reveal to everybody that, you know, the jammers are in place, the way that the government shill proves that, you know, the war is still on is by just tuning into a automated American radio broadcast and going, look, they're still alive. Our enemies are doing fine. How long have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions. That they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. I wonder how long we're gonna go this on with this narrative. Transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Christ have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like the Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. I never did find out who was and wailing on the bridge. We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other, and nobody even thought you could live outside. All right. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Dokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Dear Daddy, I write this so you know where to look for Mommy and me when you come back. Because Mommy and I wanted to stay, but Silentia says we must go to the tower and leave this car, and I don't want to. I wanted to wait for you in the car, but Mommy said I can't. 
and Salantius said you won't come back here because you failed the test of faith. He is a stupid liar because you never needed any test as their faith is dumb. I remember you said so. Mommy said nothing, but I know she is waiting for you too, so please come back soon and take us away from this fools. I love you very much. Nastia. Well, we're not her dad, but we did take her away from it. Hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Now, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I mean, there should be plenty of bullets I spread across Russia. I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Yeah, he's probably gonna be pretty pissed. Yeah, We're taking like the to longest too. time to you get there. Fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Hey, I fixed my own shit. Some of the resources you gathered were spent maintaining the Aurora and supporting the crew. <sighs> what would you like to ask? Well, apparently not very much, because I've still got a shit ton of both. Do I have a sewing machine? No, I don't. All my guns are already cleaned. I guess Artyom took the time to do that. Like everyone else, I take a thread and a needle, and I use a sail stitch. Whoa, cool! Can you teach me? I sure can, but later. I've got work to do. Will you let me fix Sam's rifle strap? Well, sure thing. Oh, but under supervision. Sam is so strict, you know. Hurra! And Uncle Sam isn't strict at all. He's kind. We'll turn you into a proper little Spartan uh, yet. All right, look here. I'll show you once. Now we we'll do this. I guess Tokarev is good with kids. I see. A uh, smoke break. That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. I would assume that that uh, well, using newspaper we take. makes it pretty br pretty rough. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really. No, a child. But he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay that debt back, okay? I like that he's got just dual pistols. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Yeah, well, take easy, well, Crest. You guys are gonna see the government, so, Bratucha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? You have to ask Miller about that one. Interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. 
So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything is long since gone to shit. So what for, really? Crest doesn't really seem old enough to have been all that old before the war. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Or they could just take away our train and say they're requisitioning it. We seem cold. Go we'll get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. And now, we're just this way. This passenger car seems bigger than it did when I was rooting through it for stuff. Join that guitar. Come on in, have a seat. Stefan's putting Wait, where did you get the other one? Here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Well, I mean, Artyom did have a guitar in his room in both games, so I assume he knows how to play. It's a shame you can't play the old Metro theme. Yeah, and I guess these two are just gonna be an item now. Thank you, Stefan. All right, well, good jamming with you, Step. I'm sorry to ask, Katja, but Nastya's father, he's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still kept it in. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Sieni used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. I'm sorry, Katya. I'm so sorry. Let me tell you how we ended up at the bridge. We used to live in northeast from here. I'm sure some people are probably not that interested in all of the character development here, but, but it took us a month. it's kind of how I'm going to run this LP, Everything like I said before. Out there. I'm not going to listen to every like single Odin. bit of dialogue, because some of them will just go on, but, lots of military you know, I'm generally going to listen when there's not conversation military, going. Of course. General industry. So I guess Roman was not her husband. There, even with filters. Just somebody else in the train. So high. No railway either, just crater upon crater. We were quite far, but our counter still went crazy. One route appeared intact. There was nothing to bomb. So we used that one, thinking we'd get further to the west, but... But of course they did not let us cross the bridge with the diesel. They said it was satanic. They were ready to let us stay if we gave them the diesel to cleanse it. So we stayed. And then, we couldn't leave, even if we wanted. That old goat, Father Silentius, brainwashed everyone, so they would just pray and bow non-stop. They broke our diesel down with their bare hands and threw it into the river. Purification. And on top of it, they gave us trouble for not helping them. Senia went to check what was going on, and there were only locals there, because Silentius at the Skatina had sent our people away to test them. He said that if they wanted to be truly accepted, they had to defeat a demon. Senia went to stop them. But it was too late. He only found burnt rags. And then he got eaten by a catfish. And then they sent him to do the same. Or not. He never came back. I just noticed that really creepy doll down there. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Well, you really didn't. That's a weird thing to say after someone is telling you something. 
<laughs> Let me tell you how something happened. I so glum in here. I didn't know. Mm. Well, yeah, obviously not. That's what she told her. Yusipan could play us something. Sure thing. Keep the morale up, Stevan. I'll stop it already. <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> Is this Sam so, at the bar? What's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Uh, it's a long story. Uh, Artyom, the colonel's Come waiting on, for you on the bridge. With it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. There's snow right, flying through on. the train. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? He is pretty much the youngest one here. Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> well, you Duke are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. Well, he basically solved the whole problem. Accurate. Through that. I did go and punch good everybody. Job, Artyom. I am a good punch yeah, man. Both did well. Crest also. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. He all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? Drinks all around. You nailed it. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. That's how you know he's not sure Russian. Thing. He's Anyways, not willing to drink at any point in the day. Just have a little as a warm up now. They're a good bunch of boys. I notice we don't have a workbench here in the front. Jesus, Artyom, I've been standing here for like 10 minutes. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Skutoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of Oh, there's his original name. We have received your signal and are currently. Because in the novels he just goes by Melnik. Yes, yes. A year you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? Executive Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know... I'm not gonna be surprised if this guy ends up being all by himself in this bunker. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? Like ten people. I have a squad of the best operatives this 
special forces have to offer? A squad. Ah, I see. Well, this is great. Great. Yes, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K6 Alpha, you say? As far as I can see, there have been no. Yeah, it just sounds like he's not actually looking at a map or anything. He's just like, uh. Back regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor. Thank you. Miller just sounds so stilted when he talks on the radio. Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, but... I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Everyone is alive. See you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. Ah, you really so kissed some ass there, Miller. This now, you doubting Thomas. I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. What about your legs? Oh, wait. The minister himself. This is incredible. Your Max seems so by indifferent. Way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. By the way, Artyom, I need you to load up the next destination. As you can see, we are heading almost straight to the Yamantau complex. Katya and Quest tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. Oh. I was just trying to look at what the next destination we are was. The Yamantau bunker. The final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely I didn't want to actually travel resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people though are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Do we really want to go back to the Metro, though? Alright, I think we're going to call it an episode here once we get to a uh, non-cutscene point. All right, so we're about 2,000 kilometers further from where we were last time. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. So I think this might be the forest area? We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years! My whole life! And it was not spent in vain! Now I know it for a fact! Mama, look! Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh! Don't say that. Well, it does look like there's a blast zone over in that direction somewhere. I don't have a lot of filter time left. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our human me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here. Okay, so I don't think this is the big forest map. I think this is gonna be a smaller one. Yeah, there's not much here. So I think we might just be here to go into the bunker. Oh yeah, I don't have a lot of filter time. I got two and a half minutes. So I guess we kept the rail car. Yeah. Are we like towing this normally? Might have to make some more filters before we even get there. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone and sit tight there. 
Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. <laughs> So I guess Mos or Yamantau here is kind of the you know government bunker. I'm trying to remember what the American equivalent is, but the name is not coming to be at the moment. It starts with an R. You know, a bunker built under a mountain to Look minimize cars. Was right. nuclear damage. From all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow though. until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. They're gonna I'm gonna guess that everybody who drove these vehicles here is dead. That's a familiar kind of rail car from the metro. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. Look, this is a bad place. Now we should not come here. Really? The sentry gun up there. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Guys, huh? I really need to... Look! I really need to make a filter. I got eight seconds left. Oh, I guess the camera still works. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the... I am going to suffocate. <sighs> and where are your people, Colonel? <sighs> With the train. Oh, no, I had another filter. Contact them and tell them to take the train and the Okay, that was just how much time I had left in my current Welcome one. to the arc, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. I wonder why my... My crafting menu said I only had, like, two minutes of filter time. Unless I just got some at the start of this section. Alright, well, I think we're going to call it here as we enter this creepy bunker and find out what happened to the government last time. So next time, we will head down into the bunker and see what's left of the government. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Metro Exodus, and I hope you'll join me next time to unravel this current mystery. Take care, everyone.